as far as Aussie icons go, it's hard to find one bigger than our special guest tonight on Better Homes and Gardens. He's adored by people of all ages, and rightly so. Mind you, he's had a rough past 12 months. Good news is he's back bigger and better than ever. Jimmy Barnes, it is a pleasure How to meet you? you. Now, you're a glutton for punishment, letting us into your house tonight. Well, you're welcome in my house anytime. I'm you know, happy to show you through. Excellent. Well, that tour is coming up not too far away, and of course, a whole lot more as well. And very soon, Jimmy Barnes takes us through his amazing home. And coming up, Australian rock icon, Jimmy Barnes. You'd be hard pressed to find an Aussie that doesn't know this next bloke you're about to meet. He was lead singer in one of our greatest ever rock bands and he's had a successful solo career for more than 20 years. And all that has produced hit after hit after hit. Of course, the man in question is Jimmy Barnes. How are you? How are you? Welcome Thank to you our humble, humble abode. Come oh, on. It's in. sensational. <laughs> Close the world's biggest door behind you. <laughs> Let's keep the dogs in, you see. That's <laughs> you. Oh, thank you very much. Jimmy, this is unbelievable. It's it's an incredible space. It's really perfect for us. So converted warehouse. Yeah. How much of the work was done before you guys moved? Oh, I did it all myself. Oh, <laughs> Jesus, nah. we did everything. No, nah, actually, it was, it was pretty well converted when we got it. I mean, we put a kitchen in and we've done a few things, but uh, it was virtually made for us. Was, so how does it work with the kids? Yeah, this is yeah. Our, like a living area and we have you know office and a, and a home theater sort of area in there and recording studio there. Up above us here, we have a, a four-bedroom apartment, yep. which, which the kids, you know, share. But really, it's a family house, you know, so we're always, this is where we spend our time. When something is wrong with my baby. Now, obvious Asian theme with your beautiful pieces of furniture. Well, obviously, the Chinese influence comes from, from Jane's family, you know. I mean, Jane is Asian, obviously, but her grandfather was Chinese. So we've got a mix of sort of Chinese, Thai, yeah. Burmese, all sorts of things in this house. And, and it's, we just like art, you know? Yeah. I mean, there's, there's some really funny things in here. There's, you know, pieces painted by friends, and, you know, Diesel's painted a piece. There's a painting that I painted up there. And it's our house in France. All our French friends came over. Yeah. And I, I'd signed JB on the bottom of it, you know? And they went, oh, this must be by Jackie, you know? My, Jackie, my son, who was like seven at the time, you know? <laughs> And I said, actually, I painted that. You know, and they went, uh, yes, it's very naive. Naive. <laughs> that I noticed is you haven't actually got it up really any of your gold records or anything like that. I mean, you've got a few arias in your Hall of Fame. Well, you know, I used to I used to have them up a little bit, but it's just sort of, you know, they take up too much space. I had, they, you know, we don't want them up in the house because yeah. it's sort of, you know, who wants to see it? It's like sort of bragging all the time. So I had them up in the studio for a while, but that, even then, they were just too shiny a surfaces, you know, yeah. it affects the same. <laughs> Interesting thing is you, you don't seem bitter about the early days. Like you've gone out and you've been so successful with your solo career, but you kind of look back fondly on the chisel days. Is that fair? Oh, to absolutely. I owe so much to Cold Chisel. I learned everything in Cold Chisel. They're just an amazing band, great songs, uh, and it's a great history to have behind me. Well, Jimmy, we've got two members of your beautiful family here, your wife Jane and Ellie Mae. Jane, is there a secret to, to bringing up your kids incredibly well-adjusted and down-to-earth? Um, are they? <laughs> They are, yeah. from what I've seen, 100% I would sure. say that. Sure, well adjusted. <laughs> I think um, the family unit is very important to us. Having the lines of communication open, keeping close and, you know, just sharing as much as you can together. So Jimmy, you had open heart surgery six months ago, which got plenty of attention. So how's it changed lives? Um, it's changed in a lot of different ways. I mean, obviously it saved my life. I mean, that's first and foremost. I mean, I... You know, when you think of open heart surgery, it's, it's obviously a horrible, horrible thing. But uh, but it seems like you know, good things happen out of, out of bad things too. You know, I mean, for the first time in in 35 years or something, I got to spend six months without travelling, at home with my family, with my dogs, with my you know, having having you know home cooked some meals, friends some friends, got to see you. So I'm lying in bed one day and I'm starting to get bored, and I picked up my guitar and I wrote songs. Uh, you know, started playing guitar and started writing songs, so I wrote an album. I want to talk specifically about the cover because it's a little tribute to you, Jane, on it, and uh, it's <laughs> the obviously tattoo. A, yeah, it's the, it's the, the weird it's the tattoo. Personal. Leave it alone. Oh. I went and got, my, got a name tattooed on my heart. 
I'm wearing my hat is, and she thought that was a weirdo. What? Because he is. <laughs> That's a weird thing to do. I don't know. It's cute. I think it's you romantic. Know, and it's deeply personal, cute. I think, putting it out there on no, the, the cover of the album. Well, think, you know, because I love her, and I just wanted to tattoo her name on my heart. Yes. on a record having your chest recovering I couldn't sort of sing very low so a lot of the songs I wrote them lower than you know you where I would normally sing because I normally shriek and tear, tear the paint off the walls so I had to sort of sing a bit softer and and for years people have been trying to get me to do that oh man Jimmy thank you can I be so bold as to ask to hear some more yeah no, we'll, we'll <laughs> play the chorus again <laughs>